Hi, Hi guys. guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're talking all about peptides. peptides. Make sure you grab yourself a cup of tea and keep watching. Nowadays, when we go out to the shops and we go looking for skincare, we see all these fancy words in these skincare products like collagen boosters, amino acids, peptides. They seem like really fancy ingredients, but do you even know what they are and what they actually do and how they can benefit your skin? Or whether they're worth that hefty price tag. We're gonna break down what peptides are, how they work, and why they're good for your skin so you can make a confident decision in whether you need peptides in your skincare routine or not. In our opinion, we think you need peptides. Yep, a big fat yes. So what are peptides? Here's the thing, our body already makes a whole heap of peptides and it essentially is the nuts and bolts of running our body. Different peptides are essential for different functions. You've got hormone regulations, protein synthesis, energy production, and so much more. So both peptides and proteins, like collagen and elastin, they're both made of a chain of amino acids. The difference between the two is the size and the structure. Peptides are traditionally a smaller amino acid chain, about 50 amino acids, and proteins are much larger. So collagen peptides can be considered the foundation of new production of collagen and elastin. It ensures that the skin tissue remains firm and plump and your hair and nails nice and strong. Without peptides, our body simply cannot function. At this stage, you're probably wondering why we need topical peptides if you know our body produces it on its own. Well, the short answer is that we age and we slowly, slowly as we age, we produce less of these peptides or less of these proteins. That's why peptides in skincare can be quite beneficial to try and keep premature aging at bay and keep you looking youthful as long as possible. So like SD said, as we age, we lose more proteins and therefore we produce less collagen. If you think that peptides in your skincare products replaces the peptides that you lose in your body, think again. Think again, because that's not the case at all. It's a common misconception. It's a little more, more complex than that. Simply applying peptides into your skincare doesn't mean that you're going to give yourself more peptides or collagen. The peptide actually triggers a pathway that tells your skin cells to promote collagen. Peptides are more efficient in skincare products than proteins. This is because they're different in size. So proteins are a bit larger in size than peptides. So this means that peptides are able to penetrate the skin layers more deeply than proteins do and therefore trigger response. So you're now probably thinking well what are the benefits of peptides in our skin or in our skincare? At enough concentration signaling peptides can produce a significant result or significant results for your skin within a short period of time. So peptides can reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles uh, because it obviously stimulates your body or your skin to produce more collagen. It can also increase skin firmness so it therefore makes your skin look a bit more firmer and taut. You can also strengthen the skin barrier because peptides actually help to maintain the health of the skin cells. In fact, it can probably also amp up the vitality of your cells and consequently improve your skin barrier function. And it can also obviously boost your collagen production, which can therefore boost the hydration in your skin. And it also can actually provide anti-inflammatory properties. Antioxidants present in peptides can help calm and soothe the skin. For the most optimal results, we recommend mixing it like a cocktail with other ingredients in your skin care routine. You'll need to mix a few active ingredients in order to get the best benefits from each of them. So now that we've gone through the nitty gritty, let's just show you some of the favorites that we have in our range. I mean, of course I couldn't go through this video without mentioning Hand Skin Hyaluron Skin Essence. This is probably one of my favorite products. I love to use this right after I've cleansed and it just feels like my skin has just drank up so much hydration. This product does contain hydrolyzed collagen and what that means is actually broken down collagen so it's in amino acid parts or peptides because we know that collagen is quite a large molecule so we can't actually absorb that into our skin. Being a peptide or an amino acid, um, whatever molecular size it is, it it gives us a little bit more confidence that it gets absorbed into our skin and help promote more collagen production, helps to keep our skin firm and keep those premature wrinkles at bay. I don't generally use um, a toner when I use this, mainly because I like to decrease 
the products that I used to be completely honest um, and I just like pat that around my skin and it just feels so lovely like that and I actually really think that my current routine which contains hyaluronic skin essence has really allowed my skin to look the way it does and um, not have the dry patches that I used to have so if you're looking for an essence you need to try this I much prefer this over the Quasarx snail essence and I've spoken about this in previous videos but it's more the texture with the skin snail essence and also that I find that it's not as hydrating actually as this one so this one also obviously contains hyaluronic acid hence the hydration so this is Earth Harbor's Celestine Hydro Plumping Peptide Serum. I like to call this the do-it-all serum because it really has ingredients in here that do it all. So it's got your hyaluronic acid, which is going to help plump up the skin, aloe vera juice, which will help with hydration as well. It's got your peptides, specifically seaweed peptides, and a whole bunch of vitamins, so vitamin B5, C, and E. But all of these actives do come in a natural form because all of Earth Harbor's products are purely natural. So this serum is great for when you just want to apply one serum for the night or the day and then follow it up with a moisturizer so if you can't be bothered layering three or four different products three or four different serums with different actives in them just use this one i like to use this on a lazy day because it has all of these great ingredients that i would use in that one bottle instead of reaching for three or four different products so the peptide component in this product is seaweed peptides and like i said it is a natural form of peptides but it works the same way as any other peptide so it does help to promote collagen and elastin production in the skin which in turn helps decrease those fine lines and wrinkles but seaweed peptides also defend the skin from free radicals which is going to help with any discoloration in the skin and also give it a more buoyant radiant bouncy look with this product it is recommended to give it a good shake before you use it and you can be quite generous with this product because the ingredients in here are all natural and quite gentle so about four to ten drops is sufficient depending on your skin type and what you feel your skin needs and it's also gentle enough to use daily as well great for all skin types but especially dry and dehydrated skin types the other product that we have in our range that contains peptides is this cooling cucumber eye cream now this eye cream i know that everyone's been loving the vitamin k eye cream that we also have in our range and everyone's forgotten a little bit about this clean and calm cooling cucumber eye cream i guess the name doesn't give it justice because this product actually contains four different types of peptides yes that is right four and let me read them out to you and um, they do sound very complex so we've got tripeptide 1, and that's to heal and promote collagen synthesis. We've got tripeptide 7, which helps to fight inflammation and glycation induced by aging. We've got acetyl hexapeptide 8 and acetyl octapeptide 3. And those two are known to work like a topical Botox alternative. And what I mean by that is that these two peptides actually help your muscles from contracting so when you contract your skin you're actually introducing more fine lines on your skin so this therefore is a, the two peptides the eight and the three is able to prevent wrinkles and fine line formation over time due to skin contractions and that's how the Botox works obviously Botox is an immediate effect but if you're you know not into that kind of stuff or afraid of needles like I am then you will definitely enjoy having this eye cream. I don't know, it's everyone else's opinion of um, what how they feel about peptides, but I always find that when a product contains peptides, I seem to see more results or faster results. It's so understated and I think it's because of the name. It smells so nice. I really think the vitamin K really took off, but this one, guys, is just as good this contains four peptides and i mean value for money i say it genuinely is really cooling it smells really nice and i've used this for a bit now um, to compare it with the vitamin k and look look it might be against popular opinion but i think this sounds pretty 
I mean, I would use both because I think both of them provide their different benefits. Also, quick tip, what I like to do, and honestly, I don't even know whether this does anything. I feel like it does, I don't know. But what I like to do is instead of buying myself like those eye gel eye masks that you place under your eyes for a while and then like take them off and put them in the bin, I just put a thicker layer of eye cream under my eyes and I just let it sit there for a few minutes and then I rub it in because once we rub it in it's quite a thin layer around under our eyes but you know when I don't get enough sleep I do get a bit of um, puffiness around here so just giving it a thick layer under there I find helps with the cooling and just getting rid of the puffiness it probably doesn't do anything but you know in my mind it does this is Herbal Dynamics Volumizing and Smoothing Rapid Lip Mask and this is such, I would say it's probably the most unique lip mask that I've used but I notice such a huge difference when I use this on my lips especially prepping before a big event or something I would pop this on and it'd make my lips just look way smoother and the application of lipsticks etc is much more nice so in here we've got an array of active ingredients which are great for plumping up the lips we've got apple extract which is loaded with vitamins and minerals that have great anti-aging and skin smoothing benefits apple extract also contains alpha hydroxy acids so ahas which help shed off dead skin cells and of course it's going to reveal more smoother and younger skin cells i hope i'm not butchering the name but it's got portulaca pelosa extract which is also packed with heaps of vitamins and is highly antioxidant and then the peptide component in here which is specifically palmatoid tripeptide 38 which gives your skin cells a boost to produce more natural hyaluronic acid and in turn give your skin or your lips that more hydrated and plump look so it helps your lips stay moisturized smoother and more youthful looking and xylitol as well which comes second on the ingredient list which is a naturally occurring sugar that helps retain moisture in your lips strengthens the skin barrier and just gives it a more smooth look so a lot of these active ingredients in here the main purpose is to give your lips a plumper and smoother look which is obvious in the results as well. I mean, as standalone ingredients, they're fantastic for this purpose, but working together collectively, I think is what gives the lips that, you know, that sort of filler effect. So with this lip mask, I would highly recommend going in prior with an exfoliator to prep the lips for the mask. So I would actually go in with Herbodynamics Lip Scrub. So you can buy these together or separately, but I would always use the scrub first just to shed off any dead skin cells and get the lips prepped so they feel a lot more softer and then go in with the lip mask on top just to allow the fantastic ingredients in here to absorb more readily into the skin and it smells amazing it's really sweet and fruity which is what i like it's super glossy and shiny as well and it's got a slight pearlescent look to it as well i've got my little laneige stick here or spatula And you honestly do not need too long with this lip mask. You leave it on for about three to five minutes and that's enough. Because the area of skin on your lips is quite small, you do not need that long at all. You just need a couple of minutes for it to do its thing. There will be a slight tingling sensation to this, but it is totally normal. It's just working its magic. I find this so unique because when you apply it on, there's this film that is formed on your lips. It doesn't absorb straight away like a lot of lip balms do. It just sits there and it just chills and then eventually kind of sinks in. Okay, so when you take it off, you can see the film starting to come off. It's like a layer. All that stuff coming off is my dead skin. And now they're super smooth. I 
in just a couple of minutes I've achieved such smooth ass lips. I didn't even go in with an exfoliator before this. I just put on straight lip masks. If it feels this good with just the mask, imagine how softer it would feel with that exfoliation prior. Love, love, love this product. Hope you guys enjoyed this video about peptides. As always, we've left the links to all the products we mentioned in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!